In this video, we are going to talk about derivatives as rate of change. Suppose if I define S of t represents the position function of a moving object, then we define the displacement between the time interval a comma b as del s is equal to f of b minus f of a. The average velocity or average rate of change between the interval a comma b is defined as follows f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. Let us define what is the meaning of a velocity and what is an acceleration and how we define the speed. The velocity is nothing but the rate of change of position of a particle or an object. It is usually denoted by the letter V of t or S prime of d or S dash of t. That is the first derivative of the position function. Acceleration is nothing but the rate of change of velocity with respect to the time. It is denoted by A of t or v prime of t or s double dash of t that is if i say first derivative of the position function it is called velocity if i say second derivative of the position function then it is called acceleration speed what is speed speed is nothing but the absolute value of my velocity function so it is defined by modulus v of t before we going to the problems, you have to make these notes very clearly in your mind. In any problem, if the velocity value is greater than zero or positive, then we say that the particle is moving from left to right or we can say that the particle moving forward. If the velocity function is a negative value, then we say that the particle is moving from right side to left side or i can say the particle is moving towards its back side if both the velocity and acceleration that is v of t and a of t both values are positive then we say that the speed of the particular object will be increasing in the same direction condition number four the velocity v of t acceleration a of t both are negative then we say that the particle speed is increasing but in the opposite direction case number five if velocity and acceleration both are having opposite sign for example if velocity is positive the acceleration is negative if velocity is negative then the acceleration is positive when both are having opposite sign then we say that the particle is slowed down if the object is at rest that is the time t equal to zero then the velocity also equal to zero let us see our first example find the average rate of change of the function f of x equal to 4x power 2 minus x plus 5 over the interval 1 comma 4 here this value a is 1 and my second interval b as 4 we know that the rate of change is given by this formula f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a. So what I have to do, I have to calculate f of a, then I have to calculate f of b. How we find f of a? To find f of a, I have to substitute a value in the function. What is my a value? My a value is 1. So we have to find f of 1. Then what is my b value? My b value is 4. So we have to calculate what is f of 4. Then by substituting these two values in the formula, we will get 16 minus 8 upon 4 minus 1. By simplifying this, we will get 19 is my final answer. Let us see our example number 2. If the position of a particle at time t is given by s of t equal to t to the power 3 minus 10 t to the power 2 plus 20. Find the velocity that is v of t and acceleration that is a of t of the particle at the time t equal to 3. 
so we know that velocity is nothing but first derivative of the position function acceleration is nothing but second derivative of the position function so let us calculate the velocity first to calculate velocity we have to differentiate the given function the derivative of t power 3 will give you 3t power 2 the derivative of minus 10t power 2 will give you minus 20t and derivative of the number 20 will become 0. Then we have to calculate the velocity at the time t equal to 3. So for that I am going to replace the value t equal to 3 in the velocity function. By simplifying this we will get velocity equal to minus 33 meter per second. Then we have to calculate acceleration. What is acceleration? Acceleration is nothing but the second derivative of my position function or I can say the derivative of my velocity. So by differentiating the velocity, we will get 60 minus 20. Then in this answer, I have to substitute the value 3 that will give you a of 3 equal to minus 2 meter per second squared. Let us move to example number 3. A particle moves along a coordinate axis. Its position at time t is given by s of t equal to t to the power 2 minus 5t plus 1. The question is, is the particle moving from right to left or from left to right at the time t equal to 2? So what we have to do? We have to calculate the velocity. Velocity is nothing but the first derivative of the position function. So we will get v of t equal to 2t minus 5 then I replace t equal to 2 that will give you minus 1 minus 1 is less than 0 since it is a negative value we have concluded that the particle is moving from right to left example number 4 the position of a particle at time t is given by s of t equal to t to the power 3 minus 2t minus 2 we need to find velocity at the time 1 and acceleration at the time t equal to 1. Using these values, we have to answer the following two questions. We need to check is the particle moving from left to right or from right to left at the time t equal to 1. Also, we have to check is the particle is speeding up or slowing down at the time t equal to 1. So, let us start from finding the velocity. Again, what is velocity? The derivative of the position function. So derivative of t power 3 will give you 3t power 2. The derivative of minus 2t will give you minus 2. Then I have to check velocity at the time t equal to 1. So replacing t equal to 1, we will get 1 which is a positive value. Then let me calculate the acceleration. Acceleration is nothing but derivative of the velocity function. So that will give you 60. Then I have to check a of 1. So replacing t by 1 will give you 6. This also positive. So my velocity is positive. My acceleration is positive. So my conclusion is the particle is moving from left to right. Since velocity and acceleration both are greater than 0, that is both are positive value, I can say that the particle is speed up in the same direction. Okay, let us discuss question number 5. The position of a particle at time t is given by s of t equal to this. And they say 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2. What is this meaning? This meaning is my the interval value of a equal to 0. My n interval b takes the value 2. We need to find the displacement in the given interval. Then number 2 calculate the speed at the end of the interval. At the end of the interval means we need to calculate at time t equal to 2. Also, we need to calculate the acceleration at the end of the interval. Again, we have to calculate acceleration at t equal to 2. So, we know that the displacement in the time interval is given by del s equal to f of b minus f of a. So, let me calculate f of z 2 minus f of 0. By substituting these two values, in the formula we will get del s equal to minus 2. Then for question number 2 we need to calculate speed. Speed is nothing but the absolute value of velocity. What is velocity? Derivative of the position function. So by differentiating the given function I have t power 2 the derivative of t power 2 equal to 2t 
the derivative of minus 3t equal to minus 3. Then I need to check the speed at the end of the interval. As I told you already, end of the interval means we need to take the second value that is 2. So if I substitute t equal to 2 in the velocity, we will get 1. Remember, you are taking only absolute value. That means even if negative value comes, you have to change into positive value. For acceleration, we need to differentiate the velocity function. So that is the derivative of 2t that will give you 2 and a of 2 equal to 2. Question number 6. The position of a particle at a time t is given by s of t equal to 2t power 3 minus 3t power 2 minus 12t plus 8. We have to find velocity and acceleration. Also, we need to find the time intervals in which the object is slowing down and speeding up. So, let us calculate the velocity first. So, velocity v of t, the derivative of 2t power 3 will give you 6t power 2. The derivative of minus 3t power 2 will give you minus 60. The derivative of minus 12t will give you minus 12. Then acceleration. For acceleration, I have to differentiate my velocity answer. So derivative of 6t power 2 equal to 12t. Derivative of minus 60 equal to minus 6. Then I need to find the time intervals. To calculate the time intervals, set your velocity value equal to 0. So let me begin with v of t equal to 0. What is my velocity? My velocity is 6t power 2 minus 60 minus 12 equal to 0. By dividing this equation, okay, by dividing this equation by 6, we will get t power 2 minus t minus 2 equal to 0. By factoring this, we will get t minus 2 times t plus 1 equal to 0. By equating this, we will come to know t equal to minus 1 and t equal to 2. So, my intervals are minus infinity to minus 1, minus 1 to 2 and 2 to infinity. Okay. How we how I get the intervals? We know that this is minus infinity and here we have plus infinity. I have two values here, t equal to minus 1 and t equal to 2. So let me take this is minus 1 and here we have in the middle we have 0. If I move somewhere here I will get 2. Okay. So now my first interval is this one minus infinity to minus 1. My second interval is this minus 1 to 2. My third interval is this 2 to infinity. So we have three intervals minus infinity to minus 1, minus 1 to 2 and 2 comma infinity. Now to answer my second question I have to form a table. In the first column, you have to write the intervals. In the second column, we have to write the testing point. What is a testing point? A testing point means you have to take any values between the intervals. So here I am taking t equal to minus 2. In this interval, minus 1 comma 2, I am taking the testing point as t equal to 0. Then for my third interval, 2 comma infinity, I am taking t equal to 3. Then in the third column, we have to write what is v of t at the testing point in the fourth column we have to check what is acceleration at the time interval okay so we have to substitute this value we'll get 24 we have to substitute this value in the velocity will give you minus 12 we have to substitute t equal to 3 in the velocity will give you 24 so this is positive greater than 0 this is negative less than 0 this is positive greater than 0 similarly for acceleration also we will get less than 0 in the first interval, less than 0 in the second interval, greater than 0 in the third interval. So what is my conclusion? My v of t is greater than 0, a of t is less than 0. So we say that the particle is slowed down. If both are less than 0, v of t is less than 0, acceleration also less than 0, then we say that the particle is speeding up in the opposite direction. Similarly, this is positive, velocity positive, acceleration positive. So we say that the particle is speeding up in the same direction. And these are the exercise questions. We have given answers also. Try yourself. Okay. See you in the next video. Thank you.